Hello everybody to lesson number 12 of CSS for Attractive Design and this lesson we will know the CSS text I mean how we could control manipulate the text in CSS we will learn the color the size the align the decoration the transform the I mean the size the font all these things we will talk them and more in this lesson so let's and say uh, let's go and see what we have here I will write, for example, here the first. I will write a simple paragraph. Okay, inside that paragraph, I will write this is simple paragraph. Let's see paragraph. Okay, paragraph. Amazing. Okay, save it. Refresh the the website and see what we have. It's simple paragraph. So there's no thing old. Okay, so everything is normal. Great, so let's start with defining the color. Let's see here ID and define the, I mean, the color, I mean, the, we call it CSS text, which means the last one we have here. Then see here, hash, CSS, the ID we have, selector, and here we will define the color. To change the color of any element in, I mean, of any text in HTML, with CSS, you could use only the color. So the color changes the uh, text color. So we will write here, for example, um, let's see, CN. See that? Refresh the page and uh, let's change the CN. Let's change it to TL. It could be great. TL, no problem. Okay. And the TL, let's see red, which is clear. I mean, which is so uh, obvious so here we are this is simple paragraph we have changed now the color we could change it as we learned with the hexadecimal with the rgb with the hue station lightness is l is uh, uh, s is i mean h s l or with the color name here we have changed the color with the color name which is red okay great this is how we change the color second element is the alignment where we want to board this alignment you see text alignment text align and we have here some elements we have text align with the center right left and just right let's write right and see where the text will go so the text will go to the right so when we justify when we i mean add the text align to the right the text will go to the right in the browser if we say the text should be center, sorry, text align and then say center, save it, reload the page, and this text will be in the center, like the title we added there. Also, uh, we could add it for the left or for any place left, which is the default, okay? We'll refresh the page, it's in the left. Also, we have something called justified, okay? So, justified means what? We have here justified. Justified means the text will not go right, will not go left, it will go in the same place and if we have extra information or extra data, it will be justified. So let's here create or uh, duplicate this content, it would be like that for example, or push the page and see here we are. This is justified, means the text would be in the same places. Let's, uh, I mean, let's roll back and I will tell you what. Let's write something like one letter is uh, big and the other is small. This is a simple paragraph for testing text in CSS. Okay, so now let's duplicate this content. Save it. And here we are. This is the justify. Justify means the first lines and the sec last lines will be in the same column. It will be in the same, I mean, the size of the columns will be like vertical okay so it's right but if we could change that thing to left left means it will start from left and any extra information or extra empty will be in the last and the blank element will be in the uh, right if we change it to right it will be the opposite so any blank will be in the first I mean in the left we say center the blank element or the empty element will be divided between the right and the left like that 
so you will use it as you need it okay so then we have something called decoration we call it text decoration decoration okay so the de text decoration we mean with text decoration whether to be dotted I mean the decoration means whether in line and underline I'm, I'm, I'm sorry or uh, I mean stroke or something like that so here we have text decoration it would be line through or underline or overline let's just start with overline for example see that I'm sorry let's uh, reduce these colors that we have here I mean this text refresh the page and see where are so the, the, the this text is overlined the text decoration is overlined we'll change it for example to underline so let's refresh here is it underline so when, we, when it is underline means it would be the, 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 the line will be under the text like the links that we will learn later or we have line through line through means like we have deleted that text so we, we, we will draw a line through in that text so this is a line through means we have deleted that text for example okay so that was about the uh, text decoration we have text transform so the, t the text transformation means how you want the text to be also we have here something called none which means that the text will have no decoration okay it's the normal then we have something called text transform transform okay which defines where the text is capitalized mm, uh, lowercase uppercase or what are these elements so let's start with the capitalized or the uppercase should be more obvious so how is the code there are some letters for small I mean the first uh, I mean the words there some of their letters are small and the others are capital but if we refresh all of the letters will be changed to capital which is capitalized second is uh, I mean uppercase the second would be uh, lowercase so the lowercase means all the letters will go in the lower or lowercase even if if we deleted this one we have some text which is capital okay we have created them with capital like this T and S and T but when when we write the lowercase it will change them all to the same uh, I mean case which is lowercase the uh, other thing we have something called capitalized which is sometimes useful capitalized and save it refresh so so instead of wasting all your time trying to capitalize every letter if you have for example a big paragraph or a big uh, post only add a CSS uh, a CSS command and every element will be capitalized so they say SS save a lot of work and you will know that by experience and by work okay then we have something called, called text in, indent or in, in uh, I mean in, uh, indentation so the text indentation or text uh, indent for example I write here text indent sorry indent so the text indent means the uh, beginning space of that text for example I will see here 40 pixel save it come and refresh the page see here indent here in the beginning there's no indent okay uh, I mean it's little but when we refresh it will be increased you could see the indent as much as we need it then you have something called letter spacing what do we mean with letter spacing it means the space between the letters okay so let's say here letter spacing and say for example to make it just uh, notable six pixel save it and come here okay but before I refresh I haven't refreshed yet so look here for example this this word okay or simple word In this word every letter is close to each other but when we refresh the page the letters has I mean uh, letter spacing spacing between the letters so here we could increase it we could decrease it we could see for example two and so how is it it's some uh, somewhat space so we will see zero and it will be the default thing 
Also, we could define it with minus, for example, minus 2, I mean, in the negative, and the negative type, or the negative uh, part. The fresh should be, I mean, combined, so that it could be hard to read. So, let's see, 6, and see how is it going to be. It would be so ugly, I mean, so it's ugly. So, this is about the terse spacing, let's turn it to 0, and go to the next. The next would be the line height. So the height of the lines. For example, imagine we have here, I'll duplicate this element, <coughs> sorry. And this element, after we duplicate them, we will make the line height greater. For example, I mean the line, uh, the, the height between the first line and the second line, and between the second line and the third, and so on. So here we will say uh, line height. And the line height, I could say, for example, 6 pixels. See that? Reload that and see what we have. I'm sorry, we should delete the, this one, spacing, indent, and see what we have here. Great. It's simple, okay? So now the, the, the line height is so close, it's, it's not enough. So we could increase it. For example, let's see, instead of 6, let's see. Mm, let's see, okay, 20, 20 pixel. The, the, I mean, the, the line between the first, as the space between the first line and the second would be so, uh, I mean, so far. We could increase it, for example, to say it could be, for example, 40, which would be far, so far, okay? So it's easy to read, but it's now hard to be followed if the text is a lot. Great. So how uh, there is, uh, the line here is the line height that we have identified and you could put it also in minus for example let's see four I, mean, I think we couldn't what I think we couldn't yes we could put it for example for zero and the text would be so mixed so be it would be in the same place but if we say one it would be like a shadow or something like that Great, this was about the line height. The second is text direction. So f whether from the right to left or from the left to right. So let's see here, t di direction, we call it direction, <coughs> which is text direction. We have two things, or three things. We have whether from right to left, like the Indian, the Arabian language, or from uh, left to right, like the English and German and two languages. Okay, or inherit. Inherit means if the body or of the greater tag is from the left, all this element will be the, the from the left. If it is from right, it would be also from right. So let's see right to left. See that? Before refresh. Refresh. The, uh, I mean the text now is from left to right. If we refresh, the text now from right to left. Uh, I mean should delete this one, that one. See that? Reload it. So now it's from right to left. If we changed, for example, I will increase text here. I will delete something, save it, and refresh. So it's now from right to left. If I change it, left, left to right means LTR means left to right. It's an abbreviation. Refresh, it would be, but this text I mean is the same. Yes, we should, uh, I mean, the alignment should be deleted first, and the text would be like that. If we deleted also the right to left, save it, then refresh the page, it would be from the right to left. Great. Then we have something called word spacing. Okay, let's return that from uh, left to right, and here we have word spacing, which is word spacing. The word spacing, it's like letter spacing. Letter spacing controls the space between the letters. Here word spacing controls the the space between the words. For example, let's say it would be 10 pixels. So here the words would be so far from each other. So here's the word. There's 10 pixels between each word and the other words. We could increase it. We could put it for zero, for example, or and we say well, what is the, it's normal. We could also set that for minus 
and see what is it it would be so ugly and combined okay so this is about the word spacing we have also text shadow which is the last one here in our lesson text shadow means that could uh, draw a shadow in your text let's delete that one save it see how is it work it's simple okay so let's here write uh, I mean the shadow the shadow could be text that that shadow okay here in the shadow we could write for example like the border or the I mean the uh, the size and also the color for example here I will say the shadow could be for example for pixel then it could be I mean for pixel and the second one would be three pixel so it defines also the the uh, the shadow from the top and the shadow from the right the horizontal and the vertical Here is the, the horizontal which would be uh, that value and the vertical would be the, the for example let's see for pixel too so and let's define the color which would be for example blue see that or gray or something like that refresh here's the shadow let's see it's smaller let's see two two and let's see gray see it refresh and see what we have here is the shadow it's large i mean we should decrease it let's for example see one pixel let's see how is it gonna be yes uh, i mean also the the vertical should be also uh, one pixel let's refresh yes now i think it's great or we could uh, put it lower than value lower than uh, that value so now we could see how is the shadow working so the shadow now is working that uh, the first element is the first value i mean for the horizontal it could be minus or uh, i mean plus also it's, it could be negative or positive also the the second one is for vertical the third one is the color which could control the shadow for our text this was the lesson and i think it's enough now uh, see you on the next if you haven't subscribed you should okay you should subscribe also give a thumb up for the uh, video so that it could be spreaded a lot uh, thanks for watching thanks thanks a lot for watching and we have planning to uh, to have a lot of works and courses that would help you from scratch uh, you could notice if you have attended in the html or this course that we are beginning from the from the beginning from i mean from the first step that anyone could improve himself even if you are expert and you have many information you could review with us and we will uh, teach you how to build a website from scratch how to build templates how to get money from these templates uh, just keep watching with us and follow us and everything would be as you uh, hope thanks for watching and see you in the next bye <laughs>